<laughs> We're down here at Pogo's looking at looking at this. This is a carved a carved chain here. And it all came out of one log, you say? Mm-hmm. Poplar. Piece of poplar. Piece of Look at that. Now, each one of those links is about maybe 20 inches. It's big. Somebody's making a violin here. Now, he said that um, one of these handles, or one of those broken here in the building we got into, look at the nice handle he made. That's half of it right there. Isn't that beautiful? But what I really come down to show you was this wheelchair. No, no, just pulling your leg. Some of the neat stuff. These are, I remember you telling me about this. This is all wood. It's all oak. All oak wood. We're inside a, a building that's absolutely gorgeous. And you can't even begin to see how pretty this is. This was what, a throwaway from the park? Yeah. And you scavenged it up and absolutely made it gorgeous. Here's a table. What kind of wood is that? That looks like maybe a burly maple or something? Yeah, it's red maple. And if you look at it, it just has everything in it. It does. It has a little bit of bird's eye. It has a little bit of curl. It has a little bit of a ambrosia beetle. Just a cool piece of wood. I it is. It it's lucky that you saved it. These look like black walnut here. Um, that is Sephora Japonica. A what? Sephora Japonica. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pagoda tree. Okay. Came out, of, came out of the National Zoo. We took it down to the National Zoo. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the rocking chair that he probably rocks away in there. Here's the piece that you got to see. This was, this is a piece of wood. Silver maple. Silver maple. You won't find anything nicer than this. And they sanded on this till they were raw hands. That is absolutely gorgeous. That wasn't a little tree either, was it? That was 30 feet up. This was 30 that feet was up? 30 feet up. That was the confluence of the limbs. 30 feet up on a big old silver maple. Whew. The old courthouse, the old courthouse in Rockville. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That's worth a million bucks. I'll let you have it for 90 grand. 90 grand? That's what I try to give it back to Rockville. And they, you know, I offered to give it back to them for 90 grand and I would take the 90 grand and endow it in a park program. And they weren't interested. Nah. Idiots. That's government for you. This is a piece of history. Not only that, from where it came from, you know, at the courthouse. Yep. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? And here's another bench. Isn't that beautiful? You got to like us. I like your owl. There was a guy named Marcus Sims made that. It was supposed to be, he said he made it for a, a Wiccan, a witch. It was supposed to be her spell cabinet. <laughs> spell she, cabinet? Yeah, she got pissed off at him and didn't think the magic, the juju or Didn't have the right magic in it. I don't know why. That thing's gorgeous. I always kind of like it. Now, what is this stuff here? Is this wood? That, no, that is ceramic. That is okay. Ceramic. Look at this table. And the turkey's calling, don't eat me for dinner, is that what he's saying? Something like that. Look at the, is that a door? Or just a design? Just a design. Just. You got such an artist. Look at this table here. This is an ambrosia, ambrosia maker. Okay, yeah, you can see the little ghosts in it. Two eyes and a head. Look at that, and there's, man, you got a lot of nice tables. I saw on the way in, you got, the road on the way in is lined with big cedar trees. Yeah. Uh, they're I nice. I don't think I've ever cut any of that. Look at that, What? that's feathered black walnut back there? Yeah. Look at that, for the back, that's that's a chair. Yeah, that's actually, I built that. It looks it, good. Well, I built it completely, a lot of this stuff. I saw and I dreamed up, but I had somebody with a little bit more patience than me put it together. Well, I can relate to that. Now, what is that piece there? Just neat? That's black locust. And that was that, this crazy artist girl 25, 20, 25 years ago I ran into. They wanted a place to carve, and that's for real. That's, for, that's, that's the real deal. That's, that's, you know, hammer and chisel type shit. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? 
Oh, look, there's a little face there. Yeah, she's got all kinds of inlay. She was from. She was good. She was from the Easter Islands or some place like that. And look at the snake, I guess. Yeah, she had all kinds of like she inlaid all this abalone shell in it and just all kinds of cool shit. You know, this is a pretty nice chair. That's feathered black walnut. And then we got the hand. That's a pretty neat piece. And Somebody was, took some time carving that, too. Yeah, that was 1970s hippie shit. That was like from, <laughs> that was like from Indonesia. And that was, uh, that was, I've, I've run into the, the same pieces several other places. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a matching chair to it somewhere. And I don't know where they You got the left hand and right hand. Yeah, I don't know where they came from. A lot of shit just shows there's up. Some, there's some wild stuff back there. A lot of this shit just shows up here. <laughs> yeah, my resident hippie. Resident hippie? My resident hippie gardener. Okay. He does all those. He knocks all that kind of crap out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just wonderful stuff. You, you just, people just don't appreciate stuff like this. I can't really get in on, there it goes. I think it focused in. I got a cheap camera from years and years and years ago. You have wheelchair races? You could. <laughs> I grew up with this wheelchair. Here, is that right? Yeah. Here's the wood stove. Did you ever know Mike Bailey? Yeah. And Mike built that. Mike bu built this? Yeah. That's um, some serious stuff there. Yeah. That's Schedule 40. What? Well, he got it it's from the school from board. The, it's gas pipe. It's from that colonial gas pipe. Oh, okay. He would go over there and bother them when they were going through to get in. He built, but I know of, he built three of these. And this was the one he built for himself. Whew. This is like half inch thick or better. Yeah. That's a Chunk. serious stove. Looks like he couldn't make up his mind whether to put the chimney here or there. I guess he switched up. <laughs> That's absolutely gorgeous. This place is gorgeous. I'm glad you let me put around in here. But you got to admit that 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 stone. Yeah. That's the uh, That's and that was 30 foot up. That was about 30 feet up. Whew. You had to have a crane or something craning that stuff down. Or big. I, know. I think we had our little crane. We took it down with our little crane. We didn't have a big one because uh, it was hollow. And what had happened is I'd been inspecting that tree for the city for years. How old? How old do you reckon that tree was? Well, they had pictures of it like back in it, back in the uh, 1800s. 1800s, and it was on the courthouse lawn, and it was big and hollow. I would imagine it was probably 150 or so in Maple Grove. Because that from here to there has got to be. That's probably eight foot from this yeah. side to that side, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, the trunk goes up, and then the trunk was a little bit narrow, and the trunk was perfectly hollow. And like an idiot. <laughs> you cut it up. Well, I, yeah, I didn't get it. I said, ah, oh, I ain't got time to fuck with this. I can cut it up, throw it on the wood truck. And like an idiot, I could have had a 30-foot nice hollow log. You know, I got, when I go up to Carlisle, I'll go up there next week, I got this hollow log. I cut logs that are hollow, and I cut them in pieces, and I took them up there. And I put wood donuts on it for sale for five bucks a piece. And I was cutting them, you know, two inch things. Some lady came up and bought them all. And I go, what in the world are you going to do with those? I just didn't have anything to take that year. She says, oh, wedding venue, man. I, I love those, man. I got to have those. So now I keep one. I have one left and I put it down. I shellacked it and I put world's first toilet seat. And people get a chuckle out of that. Well, that's good. I guess I better go back up and help them boys cut some wood. They've cut enough, and I've chewed up enough of your time. That that chain link, that's that's pretty top notch too. Yeah, that guy does nice shit. Name is Joe Wood, and he's like, he he told me that was the first thing he ever carved. I ran into him. He used to he was carving up at the county fair a couple years when I was taking him up wood. And we got to be pretty good buddies. That's neat. But he's been he's all over the world. Who's making the violin? That was a luthier or, down in Silver Spring, and I don't remember his name. And that was one of his fuck ups. He bought it up. I think, I think I gave him some spruce. I gave him something that he was going to make something mm -hmm. out of, and he was they want to know what I wanted. And I said, "Well, shit, you know, it's just sitting around here. Take it. <laughs> I don't want anything." For well, we got to go out. Oh, this door is open. I wasn't sure where that was glass. I'm getting old and senile. Look at the pathway in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go show you, show you guys the world's largest acorn. Have you ever seen a larger acorn? You should see the squirrel. You should see the squirrel that brought it. <laughs> oh, you know, I, th I think I'll let him do what he wants to do. There you go, guys. That thing is probably six foot tall. How much of that weigh, you reckon? It was 
was 11,000 pounds. It was an 11,000 pound piece of red oak when we pulled it out the tree. Because I had to do a big crane. I had a 100 ton crane and they had scales on it. That's why I knew that. Okay, 11,000 pounds. Whew. Guess I better get my butt back up there. And, but I had to bring you down the, the balls for the doggy. That's a pretty neat piece there, too. That was, like I say, that was a sycamore stump that washed down the creek in one of those big rains. Uh huh. Down at, at the Northwest Park Golf Course, jammed up against one of their golf cart bridges. Whew. We went down there and pulled it out with a little excavator and a skid loader and got it up on a rollback. It was bigger than this, but he set it on a rollback on that little green roll well uh -huh. and cut it down to size so he could come up the road with it. That's neat. I always wanted one, but I never wanted to. Can you work. can you imagine that thing just well, washing yeah, down? It, it was it was. You could see what was there, but it had a bunch of mud and shit in it. And we just blasted it. Same guy up. that did that stump in there for me in the floor, old old buddy of mine Jerome, who disappeared on me. <laughs> I could cut him loose. And he just started worked. Started out with a little a little hand picking and digging bar, knocking mud out of it. And we pressure washed it and air spaded it. Did everything to it. You got some cardinal plant. That Isn't that is, cardinal plant? No, that's uh, pineapple sage. Okay, so it's the leaf smell? <laughs> like pineapple. It does. I'm gonna take that home to. We got some stuff I, I swear it like, looks like that, but it's cardinal plant. Yeah, I got that down there. Oh, down the other. All those vines. Here, here, can I take a picture of your fort? <laughs> he said he wanted to build one when he was a kid and he never got around to it, now he's building one. Just what, 50 years later? Yeah. Two saw, there, there's like, what, how many sawmills down here? Three? Three that are up. Three that are up. You know you're gonna have to get on YouTube to see this. All right, I gotta go back up and help those guys before they shoot me. Look at that fort, isn't that neat? He has got a gift of making things. Anyhow, he's got some other huts that we'll have to catch another time. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. You got to like this one. This one's just neat. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.